This week is no different. I'm joined by Percy Ascot. Welcome, Percy. Thank you, Craig. <laughs> really, really happy to uh, have you here. Pleasure to be here. Uh, it's a little bit intimidating, honestly, because Percy's an actor, uh, <laughs> amongst many other things, and, uh, and, and I'm a complete amateur, as uh, you will know. I had a, an incredible, incredible drama teacher that I for, forever will be, you know, um, just grateful for, but she inspired me to really What's pursue. her name? Uh, her, her name is probably changed now, but her name was Miss Pittam, and then she got married, and it's Mrs. Beatty, but um, she really made me feel comfortable and... Uh, allowed me to express myself and it wasn't even just um, about acting it was also about just as, a, as being a person and growing up and that of course led you into uh, into the Brit school yeah uh, tell me about your experience at the Brit school <laughs> Craig I was like I was probably um, I mean I'm, I'm I don't look quite my age now but when I was 18 years old I looked so so young so I probably looked about 12 years old and there's pictures to prove it I was like five foot three 12 years old looking like I had this big baby face and so when I got to the Brit school I think for a lot of students it was this thing where they didn't know I was in their year group and um, I remembered sort of the Brit school being so different to a school that I previously was at but Different how? Different because you can't call your teacher by the f a first name basis, you know, and also down to what you wear and clothing, like I just didn't feel as though this school as a culture needed to sort of, you didn't need to, need to fit in, you, you right. being yourself was, was fitting in. Mr. Warden for me, Stu, like, uh, he gave me my fu the, fun the fundamentals and the foundation of being an actor. For those of you who haven't seen it, I'd, I would encourage you to have a look at Stuart Warden's interview, he's... Um, He's quite the uh, force of nature. Yes. And so we come up with this thing called Manimal All where it was about three boys who sit on a wall and just talk about their everyday uh, life and right. events. And uh, we'll just put in loads of comedy bits. I should pause and thank my crew. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Percy's laughing because we're the only people yeah. in this room. <laughs> it's um, good. I've just got my smartphone, <laughs> my smartphone and my microphone and that's, uh, and that's good. Actually, it's probably a good time to, uh, to do a shout out to uh, bow and arrow where yes. uh, we're actually filming in a different location we're in the sort of uh, the throes of the uh, coronavirus uh, <laughs> epidemic and out of yeah. an abundance of caution we've got our um, offices or the place that I usually film closed so the good people at the digital agency called bow and arrow have given us permission to film in their loft in Soho square outside beautiful day very kind so if you hear sort of bumps in the background it's yeah. people um, very busily thinking up new digital strategies. Yeah. So thanks to Bow and Arrow. I'll link them below, by the way. Uh, so um, interesting. So out of the out, out of the ashes of Mandan on the wall, uh, the wall of comedy uh, yeah. erupts. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And this becomes a platform for other. So the wall of comedy is a very popular yeah. YouTube channel. I think yeah. half a million subscribers. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it below. Go have a look. It's really awesome. Can yeah. you describe it, uh, Percy, for people who may may not have seen? Yeah. Yeah, before. sure. Um, the, the platform, the Wall of Comedy, is, is a platform that is there for comedians and entertainers. Mm -hmm. And what we love to do is to help nurture their ideas. There's probably some people watching or listening yeah. uh, that are thinking about getting into um, production or acting or the creative arts or even founding a business. You're actually all of those rolled <laughs> into one. What advice would you have for them? It's uh, uh, a very good question. I, I probably would say... Um, a few things. I would say perseverance has been probably my my biggest thing. I think along the journey, uh, it's, there's been a lot of trials and tribulations, a lot of ups and downs. And so uh, the fact that we didn't quit allowed us to learn the reason for why we're going through that process and get to the other side. And because of that, you know, there was there were great things on the other side that we just we couldn't see at the time. But you know, if you if you hold out and don't quit you can get there. Yeah. Um, I'll say uh, the people that you work with, it's, I can't sit here today and say that I did it by myself. Absolutely not. I, I've got an amazing, amazing team. And I think, you know, we're all products of our environment. So I feel like if we are able to find our tribe of people who, yeah. who believe in the vision, um, you know, I'm very thankful for a lot of people because we, we worked for a lot of years for nothing. And, and finally, you know, we have something to give back. And then, um, mm. I think lastly, when it comes to just creating content, I think it's always about authenticity. Yeah. I think it's always about trusting your, your gut instinct and, you know, who we are as people is our own USP. And so there's things that I can do that I, I know that no one else can do and, and vice versa. There's things I can't do that other people can do. And, and there's probably stories that I can't tell that other people can tell. So 
I think if you're probably watching this now and you're wanting to get into content creating, whether it's you know YouTube or TV or film, it's it's just about I think starting as well, executing. Yeah, yeah, that re that really resonates with me <laughs> as well. So uh, persistence, perseverance, find your tribe and authenticity. That's, uh, uh, Percy, look, you you you're just a wonderful combination of uh, creative talent, entrepreneurial uh, determination, and, uh, and and business savvy. Uh, I think you're doing amazing things. This is a Thank brand you. new format. You know, I think we'll see much more of this sort of thing. Uh, the wall of watch out uh, for for more of this stuff. Percy Escott, thank you very thank much. Thank you for so much, Craig. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>